In the last video, we stopped with the populated places. And it's because I want to go a little bit more into different ways to display point data. We're going to go first to our cities and towns. And in the previous video, I showed you how to use information to grab the data on a particular feature. So clicking on Damascus, I could see quite a bit of information on Damascus. Now, an alternate way of doing this is to come here to the layer that you're interested in, right click, select Open Attribute Table. And this will pull up all of the information for all of the features. The three features that I really want to draw attention to right now are admin cap zero, which has two numbers, zero and one. And admin zero is basically national level. And this is identifying whether this city or town is a national capital. If we come here, let's sort it by name. Let's see. Let's go to somewhere like Paris or Panama City. And you'll see that admin, admin zero cap has a value of one because Panama City is the capital of Panama. And if you come down to Paris, same here. But we will use this later on to help us filter out and find capitals. The other one, and we're just going to use it for general information. We could come here, solve zero name is the country. Solve zero A3 is just the three letter code for the country. The other attribute that we will look at is going to be pop max, that's maximum population. And once again, you could explore the metadata to see how they calculated this. A lot of this is based off of land scan information. We just need the numbers so I could show you how to make graduated symbology. I will push this off to the side for now. And let's open our cities and towns. So the first thing I want to do is go to source, go to query builder, and we're going to build a slightly more complicated query than we've worked with in the previous video. We're going to open parentheses. We're going to say admin cap. And let's pull in all of these is equal to one. Close parentheses. Or open parentheses. Solve zero name. Let's pull all of these in. is equal to Syria, close parentheses. So what this is saying is the only populated places that I want to see are either national capitals all around the world or other populated places within Syria. Apply, and you will see that now you have Baghdad, you have Amman, and all the other different capitals in the region. From here, We'll come back and bring this back here. And let's go to our symbology. Let me move this off to the side so you can see the changes as they happen. So up to this point in time, we've been working off a single symbol. First one I'm going to show you is categorized. And this looks for the different categories within a particular attribute. So in this case, we will select admin zero cap. And I will select classify, which will pull up all the different values within that category. And as you can see here, we have zero, one, and there's usually a catch all for all others. We'll turn that off for now. That's just essentially a safety feature in case you start creating attributes within there and forget to put in the value. It'll fall under the all other. In this case, it automatically did a difference of green circle, blue circle. We can double click. Let's start off with the uh, capitals with one. And let's make them red diamonds just so that they stand out. 
and we'll make these, um, you know, let's make these purple dots. We'll click apply, and you can now see the national capitals and all the other populated places distinguished by category. This column here is how it will appear in the legend. We can double click and say populated place and national capitals. And whenever we add a legend to the map, that is how these will appear. And if I click apply, you'll notice the value under here changed. Now we'll go to graduated. This is a little different. So for this, you need a range of values within the field that you're looking at. So we're going to go to that population max field. The first one we'll explore is color. So what this will do is it will show you the value ranges by color. And I'll show you what I mean in a minute. Let's select the down arrow on our color ramp. And for now, select spectral. You'll see it has five classes. Let's bump that up to eight. And you see it pulls in all these numbers. Now we'll click apply. And you'll see that now we have these dots of different colors based on these population size. And it shows you the ranges of populations. There are quite a few different modes that you can use. I have included a brief description of these modes in the notes section. I don't want to go into it because a lot of this is dependent on how you want to display the data, what are your preferences, what type of data you're trying to present. But I give you the information as well as a link to where I base my information off of for your use. Next, we're going to do this by size. So you see that it already changed. And if I click apply, now instead what we see is that it shows different size circles for different population amounts. So this is once again, another useful way to demonstrate size of activity at a given point. I will not go into these three down here, especially the heat map. There are better ways to generate a heat map. This heat map here will only do it by the proximity of points. There's no way to add weight by any particular value for any point. Now that I have introduced these three systems, I am going to go back to single symbol to kind of clear everything out and go to rule based. And with this, what you do is you create rules, essentially filters for different symbols. So initially you'll have one with no filters. Let's apply that for now, get everything looking the same. We'll click add to start adding a rule and we'll call this national capitals. And we'll click on this symbol here to create a rule. You come to fields and values, expand that out admin zero cap, all unique, is equal to one. This is similar to what we did before, except instead of filtering out information, this is breaking out which items have their own separate symbols. So in this case, we have this, and I will select simple marker down here, and We'll come down here. We will select a star. Now I want to make this size three. And I'm going to make this F, 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 zero, zero. And this is once again in the notes section. As we select here, you'll see the current color, the old color. And we'll click OK, and that is what our capitals will look like. And if I hit Apply, you'll see that now our national capitals have changed to stars. 
I can add another feature here to, we'll call these provincial capitals. And for this one, I will have to get a little bit more complicated. We will go by name, all unique, and we can say name equals Hasaka. This you'll have to type in, or name equals Aleppo, or name equals, and you can just take and copy this. As you can see, we're going to be using this quite a bit. Raka, Sueda, we'll skip Damascus because it's already into the capital, Dara, Darazor, Hama, Homs, Idlib, Narakia, and Tardis. And so I don't forget with Damask, actually, the capital of that is Duma. I have to go back here and put our name. So I'm going to go through and validate. So we have this. Yep, I got one here. There we go. So we should be able to click OK. And for these, we're going to make them a square of size 2. And we'll make the fill color black, which is all zeros. OK, and apply. And now you see our provincial capitals have changed. Now from here, I want to go ahead and copy all of this. And we will make one more filter. And we'll say fields and values, sovereign zero name, and search for Syria. So we'll say equals Syria and not, we'll put this open and close parentheses, and in between those parentheses, put all these. And I do want to add one more to it, and that is going to be Damascus. And that's going to become our catch-all. And with this one, we're going to do something a little different. So we're going to select circle. We're going to select it at 2. But the color here, we're not going to worry about the color. We're going to change the opacity to 0. And that will create a hollow circle. And then we'll turn off the no filter. And you'll see that now we have all of our provincial capitals and other towns that are just identified in this feature set that don't fall into the national capital or provincial capital. And we'll click OK. And I think we can stop here. Once again, don't forget to save. And you could either hit this button here or just hit Control S. Notice. Right now we have an asterisk up here, and the moment I save, the asterisk disappears.